Hello my dear family members, within very few days you are going to sit for TCS interview for different roles. So I hope you started preparing for it. You must know that in TCS interview the questions are asked from 3 to 4 topics, your project technical questions from OOPS and basic concept, then you can be asked to write a quote. But if you are from non-CSIT background, additionally you can be asked from your core subjects basic concept and finally the puzzle questions are very important for digital and prime role right so today we will discuss most repeatedly asked puzzle questions in tcs interview right so let's start with the first question so the first question is as you can see the problem is strategy for a two player coin game okay so consider a two player coin game where each player a and player b gets the turn one by one there is a row of even number of coins and a player on his or her turn can pick a coin from any of the two corners of the row. So that means the player A and player B can pick uh, from any corner that means from left or from the right. Okay. So the player that collects coin with more values wins the game. That means if the total values uh, of player A is greater than the total values of player B then the player A won right. The develop a strategy for the player making the first turn that is player A such that he or she never loses the game. Note that the strategy to pick a maximum of two corners may not work. In the following example the first player player A loses the game when he or she uses a strategy to pick a maximum of two corners. Okay. So basically what's the problem is that is let's say you are player A and these are the coins 18 20 15 30 10 and 14 so you have to start picking the coins in such a way so that you are having the greater values right that means you win the game always okay so what should be your strategy you have to build this strategy okay so uh, let's say for example so these are the arrangement of the coins right so let's say player a that means you start picking from the left corner that means you pick 18 and these are the coins which is which are remaining okay then player b uh, picks 20 then these are remaining then you then player b then you then player b this way after finishing all the game is over now we are adding the values right so player b is more uh, like uh, 20 plus 30 plus 10 that means the player b collecting the even number values right so 20 30 and 14 and you are collecting the odd number values right 18 15 and 10 i mean a, a odd place values okay so if uh, you are adding these values then these are lesser than the uh, player b which they which he collected okay that means you loses the game lose the game okay so you have to start picking the coins in such a way so that you win always okay so please pause the video think a little then give the answer in the comment section okay so i hope you have given the answer so let me explain the question so at first you are having all the values like 18 20 15 30 10 and 14 so you have to sum add all the even values then all the odd values then check which values are greater right so in this case the even number values are greater so whoever start picking the coins from the right side will win the game and if the odd values would have greater values then we would have started from the left side so the trick is the strategy is so if the even number is greater then we'll start picking from the left sorry right and if the odd values are greater then we will start picking the values from the left so this is the strategy this is very simple so i hope you will remember this okay so let me show you the next problem that is regarding snail and wall okay so i'm not reading the problem the problem just is the snail is trying to climb up the top but if every hour it climbs the wall three feet up but it slides down by two feet right this occurs every hour so how many hours will it take for the snail to reach the top of the wall so what should be the solution please think a little and then give the answer okay so i hope you tried so let me show you the solution so 
So in every hour the snail climbs up by 3 feet and it slides down by 2 feet that means it is climbing up by 1 foot in each hour. That means in 26 hour it climbs up by 26 feet and in 27 hour it climbs up by 27 feet but the difference occur at 28th hours right. So what happens in each hour it climbs up by 3 feet but it is sliding down by 2 feet, feet right. So when it is 28th hour and it is 28 feet so when it again climbs up then it reaches up to the top then it will not uh, it will not slide down that means that the, the total length of the wall is 30 feet and it will reach at the 30 feet and it, it will not uh, it will not uh, uh, slide down right so i hope you understood because the roof is flat so it will not slide down okay so i hope you understood okay so if you didn't understand yet then please let me know in the comment section i will try to assist you okay so the next problem is regarding lateral thinking so the problem is join all the nine dots by drawing minimum number of straight lines the straight lines must be continuous that means if you start drawing then you can't leave the pen above okay so that means if you are start drawing from here 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 so you can't leave the pen and you have to join all the dots within minimum number of straight lines right so i hope you understood the problem so if you understood then please pause the video then think a little then give the answer in the comment section so your answer should be this way like uh, i'm not giving the answer i'm just showing the example so that your answer should be like one two three four five six seven eight nine so this is the uh, easiest way and this is the uh, minimum number of straight lines uh, by which we can join all the dots right so i hope you understood okay so i am not giving you the solution so please try from your side if not possible then go through the link given in the description box i have given all the puzzle questions solutions which are most asked right okay so let me show you the next problem that is regarding blind games so uh, i am not reading the problem so this is basically a problem of two coins so please go through the link given in the given in the description box you will get all the questions and the solutions which are most asked in tcs interview okay so the next problem is regarding the lion and the unicorn so this is most asked question in any interview which asked regarding puzzle questions right so please go through the link given in the description box okay so the next problem is regarding the burning candles and the next problem is regarding uh a blood relation problem and the next problem is regarding maximum pieces that can be cut from a circle so this is also very repeated and most asked question and the next problem is regarding lateral thinking as well so you have to move three matchsticks from the given set of matchsticks arranged as shown in the figure to make three square boxes so please go through the link given the description box so that you can get the solutions okay so the next problem is regarding six matches the right foot forward so you have been given six matchsticks the task is that you have to rearrange them to make nothing so this is very tricky questions and the interviewer basically is checking your critical thinking ability right so uh, what the solution is that is you have to rearrange these matchsticks and you can rearrange them like nil or you can rearrange them like zero so that you can so you can refer that as nothing right so nil is nothing zero is nothing so you can represent these uh, uh matchsticks in such a way so that this means nothing okay so i hope you will use your brain and you will give answers of previous puzzle quiz questions so i hope this will help you a lot while you are in okay so i hope you will give importance to this and if you found this video helpful then please subscribe this channel and watch the playlist regarding any comment that you want and if you want more such content then please let other join this channel okay so thank you for today's session